okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lorraine 11 and this is the worst you're ever gonna see my hair. I have to be real with you guys, tell you the secrets that I do, not even secrets, the things that I do maintaining and growing healthy long hair. As you can tell, my hair has been in protective style for a whole while, a whole while. It's actually been four whole weeks. And the reason you can't see my partings is because my hair has grown so much, it's grown over into the parting. Look how much it's grown. But guys, it's for a good cause. And obviously I haven't been going out like this. I've been wearing my protective styles here and there. Protective styles, I love my protective styles. These wigs are so cool. Anyway, today I'm just gonna quickly show you a length check. I don't know why I don't think as far ahead as this. And I wish I showed you pictures of when my hair was freshly done four weeks ago. But you can see, you can see for yourself, you can see. My hair wasn't actually this fluffy until I washed it, which is fine because it needed to be cleaned and moisturized. They say that your hair within a month grows half an inch. I was gonna say inch and a half, half an inch. So I'm just gonna measure my hair now just to see if that's true. So I'm gonna pull it up and I'm going to measure it, not at the top of the plait, to this point underneath the plait. So from my scalp to the plait, where is that guys? Okay, okay, so your hair is literally meant to grow half an inch. My hair has grown an inch and a half. Wow, so that's nearly two inches in four weeks. Is that possible? Well, clearly it is because my hair has grown that way. But is that the usual amount of growth that your hair grows? If you've noticed, guys, let me know. This bit feels like it's grown out more. So from underneath the actual plait to the root, that is an inch and a half. So I have had my hair overall in cane row for two months. The previous month I started, I was wearing my protective styles. Then I took it out and this is how much my hair had grown. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this picture. I am, I'm liking this, I'm not liking this, but I'm liking the health and the growth. It is working. Okay, so in my wash day routine, nothing fancy guys, nothing time too time consuming. I did deep condition my hair and I have sealed it with hair grease. Oh, by the way guys, something exciting for you. If you want to see all the products and then some that I use in my videos all in one place, you are in luck. I have taken my time to put together all my favorite hair products in one place on my Amazon shop and you can have a look on that. You can also follow me on my Instagram, click the link and it will take you to my link tree. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you. You're welcome. Right, so let me just quickly talk about things that I did wrong initially, protective styling, prior to this protective styling journey, and things that I am now doing that has helped me to see quite a bit of substantial growth. So initially, I didn't like protective styling because I just had my hair like this. Well, not like this, it was neat. And I feel, I feel I have quite a small head. I, I don't know. Initially, I would literally just put my hair in cane row and leave it. I wouldn't moisturize it. I would take it out after two weeks whilst my hair was still neat. I wouldn't wear a headscarf at night. I wouldn't oil or grease my scalp. And I don't mean oil and grease at the same time, guys. I know it gets confusing. If I feel that my hair is has too much build up, I won't use hair grease. If I feel it just needs a light touch up, could slightly dry it, I'll use an oil, preferably a castor oil, because my hair needs thick products. I didn't trim my ends before I braided my hair, which I did this time round. I didn't wash my hair when it was in a protective style. I literally just plaited my hair, left it. It was quite off-putting to be honest. So this time round, first month of my protective style, remember I've done this now for two months. So the first month of my protective style, every other day, I didn't wash it, but every other day I was greasing my scalp and every other day I would spritz it. And it was a black castor oil energizing itch relief spray from Jehaitian Combination. I love this stuff. Their, their products are quite good. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way, guys, I'm just saying, but their products are quite good. Um, did it help with the itchy scalp? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it definitely kept my hair moisturized and shiny and succulent and nourished. <laughs> this kept my, the elasticity in my hair, it was perfect. And then, guys, when I was taking my hair down, I actually used, this is what I bought for my daughter, but I used it in my hair and it was like butter. So it says, it's just for me, it's called Curl Piece. It said, natural curl care 
for kids, kinks, quals, and curls. It's tender head, that's, because that's what my daughter is, tender head detangling treatment. And it says it's got aloe vera, marshmallow root extract, and raw honey. It says rinses away knots, pre-wash, and post-styling. And it definitely does. For those of you in question, I still use hair grease. I will continue to use hair grease. I love hair grease. But now, guys, I'm gonna go take out my plaits. So I just want to show you this piece, guys. Oh, look at this shedding. See, this is what scares me when I see this. But it would have come out anyway. You just want to notice it so much because your hair has been so confined. But anyway, I just want to show you this bit. So this is how much this part has grown away from the scalp. So the plait is here, basically. And this is exactly why I need this detangling lotion. I will label it down in the description box and purchase this detangling lotion if you want to try it yourself and all the other products I've just shown you. Buy them in my Amazon shop. Right, so my hair's completely loosed up. I am just so excited that it didn't take out too much of my head. That was it for my whole head for four weeks worth of cameras. Feels weird to have curly hair back. I'm gonna go and have to uh, wash this now. But anyway, guys, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Bye.